So I'm here to talk about a um, sortable model the, that we wrote for an, uh, in Angular. And uh, so I'm going to talk about the problem that we face and why we have to come up with that model. Uh, so b before, uh, we have uh, Lohit uh, from Kendo. Yes, so he was talking about a lot of widgets, right? So, and uh, he, he also mentioned that it has dependency on uh, jQuery UI. And also, it has some uh, Angular stuff to do with that. Uh, so uh, our project, uh, yeah, basically, I, I'm a, a full stack developer. I come from uh, CollabNet. And uh, we do development in Angular for our uh, front end needs. And so one of our product is using uh, Angular as front end. And uh, so we come up with a, we uh, face a problem so where we have to uh, solve, uh, we have to do some uh, drag and drop, uh, and we have to do some sorting. And we, so typically that is for our, so typically that is for our uh, uh, storyboard. So I think you all know about the storyboard in uh, today's, uh, so the, the gel world, right? So the, where we, you have, basically you have some, um, stories and you have uh, tasks. You have to just move uh, from one status to other status, like a, from not started to uh, in progress and in progress to done. So and all these steps you have to do, and so that is uh, all about the storyboard. And for that uh, we have to have a nice uh, drag and drop UI widget. And since we use Angular, so we want to stick with Angular, and we don't want to uh, introduce more uh, frameworks or more plugins just uh, you know to do this thing. Uh, and uh, we looked at, uh, so thus Angular provides all these things, functionalities. But unfortunately, we couldn't find uh, any suitable library for us. Uh, <clears throat> so we have a library uh, in Angular UI. Uh, it provides a sortable. But again, uh, it depends on uh, jQuery UI. And uh, the jQuery UI uh, depends on uh, the touch punch for, for touch to work. So, so we uh, ran into like uh, kind of uh, adding more dependency just to get uh, this thing working. So, uh, so what I uh, did is like uh, just wrote a, a simple um, sortable plugin, uh, which which is uh, purely done in JavaScript and <coughs> and uh, it exposes uh, all the functionality uh, through a simple uh, Angular directive, and yeah, and that is pretty much uh, open. And uh, so you can just uh, oh, sorry, not not this one. Right. Yeah, yeah, you can you can yeah. You can just scroll down, scroll down there, scroll down, sc scroll down. Sorry, scroll down, scroll down. Yeah. Uh, so there are a um, few uh, features like I would like to. So you can do both uh, vertical and horizontal sorting, and uh, it it provides a hook actually. So when when you want to rank and you just change your order, so it provides a hook. So where you can call your uh, server API, and uh, so when you do a move also, so we provide a hook there, and <clears throat> so there are a few a uh, few more features we added like. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Again, the directory structure is pre pretty simple. Uh, you have a list, and you have an item, and you have your uh, drag hook. So that's about it. And uh, yeah, uh, and you can you can pretty much uh, play around with that, and you have a lot of controls. So where you can control your uh, dragging while you are uh, doing your your uh, drag. Sorry. Uh, so you can control your drag on specific targets uh, by means of checking uh, some simple checks here. Uh, yeah. Uh, pr problem, yeah, yeah, down, down. Sorry. Yeah, um, yeah. Actually, it has uh, some fixes and like where you can handle your um, uh, validation as well. So if you have an, uh, any errors occurred, so you can just do a uh, validation, simple validation. And uh, so we have provided hooks for that. And probably just end up with uh, finish with a simple demo. Uh, just uh, no, that one. The next one, next one. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if you see see this demo, uh, so it it has control uh, over uh, a specific uh, column. So it, the next one, next. Uh, you cannot uh, drag this to everywhere. So it, this just control to uh, move to a specific uh, columns, and that that is the, uh, that is uh, validated at runtime, and uh, yeah, this this doesn't have any uh, dependency on any of the libraries, and it's this is purely done in uh, uh, using a pure uh, JavaScript. And it just exposes a, a simple uh, Angular directive to use, and uh, yeah, it supports all browsers and uh, touch, dev touch devices, and it's pretty much open. And uh, contributions welcome. Thank you. <laughs>